Welcome to Bunix Investment Group. In this course, you will learn the three-step process to find the best trade setups. Be sure to be part of our free Signals Telegram channel or leave the link in the description box below. We also share free trading advice as well as setups in that channel. Firstly, let's define day trading. Day traders are traders who enter and exit trade the, trades the same day. So basically, day trading is the process of entering and exiting trades in the same day. They do not baby trades overnight, but close off by the end of a trading day, no matter in profit or loss. However, you need much order to trade this way, otherwise you will be less or you'll be left with less gains. In this video, we'll talk about the steps you need to take each and every day for you to get the best trade setups. So buckle up, sit back and learn something new. The first step in trading, even in general, is bias determination which is a process of acquiring where the market is going to move next. When you are a day trader, it means you trade with the trend. Usually day traders do not seek to call tops or bottoms. So on a Saturday or Sunday evening, one must take time to look at a group of pairs in preparation of the upcoming week. You should take time with the charts over the weekend. It's not always parting or enjoying yourself with family, but it's also a time to reflect on what the week you've just come came out from or the week that is upcoming is going to look like. During this period, you'll be marking levels. And for those who have been following us for quite a long period of time, knows that we trade using market maker levels. We understand the market maker cycle and from there we derive our entry points. So understanding the market cycle will actually give you a bigger chance of get, getting trades with the right trend. So below is the, is the illustration of how you count these levels and the other steps that needs to follow after counting of levels. So let's jump over the charts so that I can show you how it's all done. All right, so by current selection, it all comes down to choice. Which currencies do you love most? Which currencies do you don't uh, do you leave? So this is GBP against NZD. It's actually a pair that chops a lot, and I've selected it so that we can bisect together, so that we can actually get uh, the concept of counting levels. So on pound NZD, I've gone on the higher time frame, which is the daily time frame. On this daily time frame, we want to find the market bias. Then go to step number two, and then the last step, which is uh, the most important one. So on the daily time frame, we can see that the market is coming from this point. It has been going up, but the rise was actually in a choppiness, right? But in this particular move, we can see that the market rose, pulled back, rose, made a significant pullback. So whenever we are trying to mark levels, it's better to look for significant pullbacks. In this particular case, I am going to call this the first level of the cycle. We have this rise as the first level. And then we have this second rise as the second level. After doing something like this, we now have a map of where the market is going. We can now safely say that we still need one more level to the upside, meaning our bias in this particular pair is buy. Therefore, we are looking to make a buy entry. However, we need smaller time frames to actually do so. So that brings us to our next step, which is step number two, market anticipation. Market anticipation is now made on the lower time frames. If we go on M15 time frame or H1 time frame, we can clearly make market anticipations clearly. In this particular case, we can see that from this point, we had a pullback, which we were seeing on the daily time frame. This is the pullback. And that pullback on the H1 time frame looks like this. 
on the H1 time frame, we can now mark levels to find a point of reversal that we called a peak formation low. In this particular case, we had a drop and then another drop. Then the last drop was issued and a multi session W pattern was issued, meaning that we, 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 we reversed to the upside. So after having something like this, we now know that this is peak formation low to start the third level of the daily time frame. What are we now anticipating or what are we now looking for? We are now looking for an entry point on the smaller time frame in line with the market maker bias. On the smaller time frame, we are now looking at the M15 time frame. On the M15 time frame, this is what we see. We can see that the market has created an upward move to the upside, which can hold as the first level to the upside. After that first level, we had this day, which was a day of consolidation, and we managed to come back to yesterday's low. So the third and final step in day trading is now market execution. Market execution execution will now require you to know the times during the day of looking for an entry. We usually advise to trade within the London and within the US session. Therefore, in this particular case, we now look for a pattern. And in this case, we can see that a pattern has been created after the Asian session has been issued. So the pattern is going to look like this. Let me mark it. This becomes our Asian session. After the Asian session, we had a type of W pattern, which is first leg, second leg, like this. Therefore, our entry was supposed to be at this particular point. If we look on the TDI, we can see the relative strength actually rising as a confirmation. Therefore, our pattern is this one. Our execution is supposed to be governed by a candlestick reversal pattern. In this particular case, the candlestick reversal pattern at the second leg is actually a railroad track. So in the VIP, we have already entered this trade and we are looking to swing it to, to the upside. So basically, the final and last step is execution where you are going to look for a candlestick reversal pattern and if that poses a, gr a great difficulty for you you can wait for candlestick closure above the 13 ema so those three steps will actually give you the market bias and give you an anticipation and lastly a point to execute within the markets on that note we come to the end of our today's video i'll see you in the next one have a blessed day